So in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Zodos, the new and improved Zodos uh, 5.7. The developer developed it some time back and it, it runs smoothly on all devices. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is Zodos, yeah, the improved version. It is Zodos, it is actually installed on a phone. Uh, with this Zodos, you can install computer softwares you can play games you can use productive softwares like uh, audio editing and then video editing uh, this zodos actually has a uh, has its own play store where you can download the productive software for example as you can see audacious you can install it there is audacity you can install it there is handbrake for compressing videos yeah you can also use it for you can also use this gimp uh, for photo manipulation photo editing as you can see this is on our uh, on our phone actually i'm going to show you a step by step guide on how to set it up uh, for those who haven't set it up yet uh, as you can see uh, this is the this is the curly part of it yeah it shows some more important information now let us see how to fully set it up so that it can fully function on our phone yeah uh, first of all uh, you are going to download this application uh, from the official github uh, you just search for zodos the official github will be able to appear or you can join our telegram channel uh, our telegram channel you can join it uh, in our telegram channel actually we discuss a lot of uh, we discuss a lot of things that help you improve your android device and now uh, if you launch zodos for the very first time what you're going to do is you're going to tap on preferences when you tap on preferences of course uh, these are settings they will be as you can see this one uh, then then you are going to scroll down here and then tag on full screen full screen on device display you tag it on and then this one to force orientation yeah to force landscape after that of course you exit and then tap on it again when you tap on it again you are going to tap on this start now from here you're going to choose uh you're going to choose what you're going to use from here you you will tap on this one zodos you wait for it to load yeah it will detect your system so mine it has detected cpu qualcomm yet yeah, a snapdragon and then adreno so that means i'm going to tap on turnip here but yours if it dicta if it if it detects a different cpu uh if it's not snapdragon what you're going to do is you will tap here but mine is a snapdragon so i tap on turnip and here you're going to choose not hardware not whatever you're going to tap on cpu uh, as you can see mine has already loaded uh, let us go to 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 its it has multimedia softwares uh, for example it has a video player as you can see it's a, let, it is a video player or audio player uh let us try to check uh, the yes you can see it has video editor yeah uh for those who has who for those who have ever used the premiere pro as you can see uh this video editor it's like the way you see premiere pro yeah you can edit your videos from this point it has audio editor too and this is uh audacity yeah as you guys know audacity it is also there let us try to check for other application in this uh in the play store when you tap on the play store you can see all these applications you can install them me i've already installed these ones yeah i've installed audacity i've installed uh, uh firefox i've installed handbrake but you can install a lot of them yeah you can choose the one you want uh, as for development you can see there is casa yeah for those who know casa it's a software for making websites using command prompts uh, there is also accessibility you can yeah you can download all those for graphics you can download all these including gimp for those who know gimp 
there's also Inkscape yeah for those of you who do that you can download them on your device and try them uh please uh oh what i ask you is please make sure you subscribe to the channel because uh, a lot of interesting content uh, shall be coming your way so that you don't miss out yeah this has been zodos uh, 5.7 please make sure that you have joined our telegram group for discussions and also you make sure you have joined our whatsapp group for more discussions because we do discuss their tech related issues uh, we have a community of a lot of people who are who are knowledgeable in uh in a uh, tech mo mobile technology stuffs so we shall be discussing them from there yeah you'll be able to ask for anything that you want to know so make sure uh you do what make sure you join you can actually install also computer softwares on this day on the on android device using this uh zodos let us try one of them when you tap uh, uh, i have mine make sure that you have moved them in the download folder of course uh, let me try to install one yeah this is blender as you tap on it, it is in, yeah, it is going to bring a, an installation dialog box. Yeah, as you can see, this is the installation dialog box. You tap on next. It is installing as if you are installing a software on your computer, but it's a phone. Yeah, you tap on agree. Yes. You tap on next. Yes yeah as you can see it is a phone but it is down it is installing blender yeah yeah now uh, as you can see here blender has already finished installation now let us try to launch it and see remember this is a phone please yeah and as you can see blender is launched is being launched yeah this is blender 2.5 and as you can see it is fully functional yeah it is fully functional it's a phone remember this is blender actually uh, you can uh, you can use this blender well if you have connected a mouse to your android device yeah either by bluetooth but of course you can use yeah now uh, make sure please you subscribe to the channel give this give uh, the video a thumb up so that it goes to so many people and it gives us motivation to create other wonderful videos yeah